What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka All Fires. Now two weeks ago when Marvel Studios dropped the first Guardians of the Galaxy trailer to coincide with their live presentation at CCXP, they dropped an Ant-Man trailer of sorts but it was mostly legacy footage from the Infinity Saga and maybe one or two new frames but not a second trailer. And during our coverage of that weekend's presentation and our easter egg breakdown of the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer, I made sure to mention that there was a second and proper full trailer that was rumored to be right around the corner but when some of those rumors placed it this week with avatars release at the box office i didn't report on them mostly because knowing disney they want all the shine on avatar they don't want to dilute it with a brand new trailer for anything Marvel. But now, at least according to one source, we know when the next Ant-Man trailer will be dropped. Well, not a surprise, it's not that far away. We're breaking down when you can expect to see the second and full proper trailer, as well as some major, major plot points and official reveals coming from the director himself with the recent interview in Entertainment Weekly. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway which we are literally going to hit any day now our subscribership has shot up in december if you want to be entered to win that playstation or any of the daily comic book giveaways which we will announce new winners at the end of this video it's super simple all you got to do again hit the sub button leave a comment on this video stick around at the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff again there we are still giving away a playstation at a million subscribers and the subs have increased this month to a rate which i actually think we're going to hit it before the the end of the year so if you haven't subbed yet kind invitation to do so not only will you better keep up with the content but we'll be giving a playstation away right around the corner we're also announcing daily winners for comic giveaways we'll announce some new ones at the end of this so just be a subscriber leave a comment stick around at the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff again there so brand new sources for the second ant-man and the wasp quantumania trailer have the trailer dropping sometime after the first of the year and specifically the second week in january and while this source has been right on things in the past he's not my number one source source for trailer drops that's Daniel Rickman so I'll eagerly await industry insiders to sort of corroborate this as we get closer but just logically speaking the second week in January would make sense that would give Avatar plenty of weeks at the box office and is still just under a month away would also be a month away before the February 17th release of Ant-Man. But speaking of which, Marvel has already started their press junket. Interviews have already started going out. I'm sure some of you saw the brand new still shots from Entertainment Weekly, which did a brand new interview and write-up in which Peyton Reed revealed that the tone and sense, the size of this movie, is going to be much different than what he referred to as the first two Ant-Man and the Wasp movies being called palate cleansers, where they weren't quite the size and scope, the serious tone and nature of the Avengers movies that they were released around. This was the director Peyton Reed exact quote in Entertainment Weekly. Quote, people felt like, oh, these are fun little palate cleansers after a gigantic Avengers movie. For this third one, I said, I don't want to be a palate cleanser anymore. I want to be a big Avengers movie. I did. I metaphorically kicked in Kevin Feige's door. And this basically really makes good on what he said two months ago about this film having everlasting effects. What you expect from an Avengers film is going to happen now in an Ant-Man film where everything is changed forever at the end. There are some serious consequences for this film. He goes on to say, quote, One of the single most intriguing things that I was excited to do in this movie was progress the scott Cassie relationship. It's been central to all the Ant-Man movies, the big difference here being that, as a result of Endgame, Cassie is now a young woman. She has become a scientific mind in her own right. She's been going through Hank Pym's old journals and notebooks and has really latched onto this idea of quantum science and quantum technology. In the first one, we introduced the idea of the quantum realm, we kind of dipped our toe into it, and even more so in the second one. But we obviously left a lot of unanswered questions. We wanted to go in a different direction and create an epic movie where the bulk of it takes place in the quantum realm. For me, it's really exciting because the other two films take place in San Francisco, this one, we're creating an incredibly complex subatomic world and all the environments and ecosystems and creatures and beings that inhabit that world. I grew up a real Marvel Comics nerd and there are a lot of handful of antagonists in Marvel Comics universe who are all timers. Loki, obviously, Doctor Doom from the Fantastic Four, and King the Conqueror. In conversations with Kevin Feige and Marvel, it was like, I want to put Ant-Man and the Wasp up against a really formidable villain in this movie, so we're doing King the Conqueror. In the comics, King has dominion over time. He's a time traveler. His situation is a little bit different in this movie, which I won't spoil it for you, but he's someone who, while we live very linear lives, from childhood to death, 
King doesn't exactly exist that way. It struck me as interesting to take the tiniest Avengers, in some people's mind maybe the least powerful Avengers, and put them up against the most powerful force in the multiverse. Speaking of which, Kang, played by Jonathan Majors, had to say this in this Entertainment Weekly interview, quote, The first thing that was pitched to me was he was a villain, and I went, hmm. And then they were like, he's a supervillain, and I went, hmm, I'm into that. But why was I into that? Because of classical text. I mean, I do want to play Othello, but in Othello, you've always got to be careful about Lago, because Lago, that guy, that's the most complex character. There's very little he won't do. And what Jonathan Majors is clearly implying here is that it wasn't just playing a villain or a supervillain, it's the complexity of Kang and how he's going to be portrayed throughout the multiverse saga that really appealed to him. Now, Peyton Reed also followed up about another major actor showing up in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Bill Murray. He had to say this, quote, Bill Murray plays a character from Janet Van Dyne's past. It's a crucial role. A big theme in this movie is the things that parents and kids don't say to each other, the secrets that they keep in families. In the last movie, when Hank and Hope rescue Janet, Evangeline Lilly's character has this idea of, oh, I'm going to be reunited with my mom. And this is going to be great. We're going to talk about everything. But what happens if the other person, in this case Janet, puts up a wall and maybe is not comfortable talking about a certain thing and doesn't reveal certain things about her past? As we know from great stories, you can put the past behind you, but the past will always find a way to show up again. Bill's character represents that in this movie. And I really like this idea that Bill Murray's character may just have an extended cameo still. He might not be in a majority of this film, or he might be actually, according to this quote, but that whatever the length of screen time he's going to have, his role will be important, that he's not just a quick cameo and a named character in the background, that he has a lot to do with the plot. And really, the more they talk about this film, the more hype I get. Kevin Feige's on record as saying he wanted to elevate Deadpool to the same level as other third installments like Captain America, and it looks like they're doing the same thing here with Ant-Man and the Wasp. While it might not have the amount of Avengers and team up in it, well, that's still yet to be revealed. It seems like the impact of this film is going to be as big as some of the previous Avengers films and where they left the MCU after it. But guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. A, how hype you are for the second trailer and this film. And I am curious, leave it in the comments, are there any of you who are going to actually see Avatar this opening weekend? Uh, I am going to go see it on Sunday. I was just curious how many of you are going to make your way to the theaters. I'm, I'm very, very curious to see how the box office will do for a movie that waited so long in between its first and second installments. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff and announce some new winners. Okay, we are still giving away a PlayStation 5 at a million subscribers, and like I said, our subscribership has picked up so much, we are easily going to hit this by month's end, and it's kind of crazy. So if you want to be entered for the giveaways, or if you just want to help me hit my lifelong dream of finally hitting a million after the last five years of the channel, and even longer than that, a decade on YouTube, I would sincerely appreciate each and every one of y'all's support. I literally can't believe I'm this close and trying really hard not to get excited, but man, we're going to hit it any day now. So if you want to be entered to win the PlayStation or our daily comic book giveaway all the way through December, which let's go ahead and announce brand new two winners. Thank you so much for your support at the channel. All you got to do, DM me at I am fires on Instagram or email me on my business email. It's under the about section on the channel. I'll verify y'all's accounts and get these comics right at you guys. And it's that simple. All you got to do, be a subscriber, leave a comment because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.